Good morning, uh, everyone. Uh, it's, it's 10 a.m. Uh, British summer time. Um, and uh, welcome to everyone who is live. Uh, I just want to welcome the audience. Thank you very much for joining us on the uh, Fractional CMO podcast. Those, uh, th those people that are into the sales and marketing environment uh, that are acting as fractional CMOs, you're welcome to join the show, but the show is, is dedicated, I would say, as a, from a podcast point of view and from a live stream point of view for just about anybody that runs a business, that runs an entity or runs a department within a larger organization and wants to really get to know some of the core things that are critical around growth and development uh, of a business. Over the last uh, 20 plus years, I've come across a number of um, business principles and, and, and business growth principles that I think are critical to the growth and development of any, of any company. Now, as a fractional CMO, a fractional CMO, um, I will put into the, into the show notes, what does it mean to be a fractional CMO? I also have a, a brief video around uh, an explanation of what a fractional CMO actually is and what a fractional CMO does. The reason why I've chosen this as a specific topic and, and a specific podcast is, is, is so that we can, we can really just uncover all the, uh, uncover the truth behind all the garbage that's going on and around in, in the marketplace. There's so much, um, uh, hype and myth and, and. I would say often marketing and marketing and sales seems a lot like a dark art or um, it seems like something that is either hit or miss or even luck uh, to a large extent. But marketing has got some core principles and I want to come back to to maybe just a few that that you may be able to relate to and that's something like gravity for instance. Gravity is a as a core <laughs> principle, if you, if you want to call it that gravity, if you jump off the building, uh, let's call it a 10, 10 story or 10 floor building. There's no doubt that 10 out of 10 times or a hundred of a hundred times, you're going to fall down and you're going to fall onto the ground. No matter how many times you do it, it's not going to change. Unless something miraculous happens to the earth and all of a sudden we are living in a gravity free environment. That's a core principle. Gravity exists. So if you fall, you're going to fall down. You don't fall up. You don't fall sideways. You fall down. So that's a principle. Another principle, and maybe I should just, just add most principles have got benefits to them, but incorrectly used could have negative consequences. Again, a bit like the, the, my, my crazy example about falling off a building. If you fall off a building, um, you know, and that's what you want to do, you probably end up either in hospital or, or, or no longer alive. Um, but you could use gravity to your benefit. So often, you know, people were using gravity as, as a method of, of balancing using levers and things. Um, gravity being the, at, on a pivot, if you have something that's heavy on the one end and you try to lift something on the other end, you have gravity that pulls this down, but you are lifting something on the other side, you're using leverage concepts, but you're also using the pull of the, of the earth. Um, when you build a building, gravity is used, you know, if you are building a house or something and you build the foundations, you know, your house is pretty much going to be there unless there's a flood that's going to wash it away. But you, you know, that's using, using principles correctly. If you use friction, for instance, friction, uh, is another great one. Friction used uh, as a principle, one, uh, uh, object or something rubbing against another these days, they even doing it at the, uh, atomic, uh, level where they are creating, um, uh, uh, different, I would say things that you can't see at the quantum level. Uh, friction or, 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 or collisions between items uh, or atoms and, and, and molecules and things to provide uh, the release of energy. I'm not going to go into too much of that, but if we look at friction, friction works incredibly well for us. If you say, think about your, the brakes in your motor car, 
you know, if you're driving along friction and you apply the, the, the brakes, friction pushes the brake, brake pads together and slows your vehicle down. Not a bad thing if you're going at speed and you need to slow down. But friction could also be bad. So therefore we have things like on your wheel, for instance, if your wheel's turning, you have a lubricant and a lubricant remo removes or diminishes or reduces the amount of friction. So principles are great if you apply them properly. So using those analogies and coming to, pr to principles, the goal behind this podcast and what I'm trying to achieve is to highlight the 42 business growth principles that I've found over the last 20, 25 years to really just be that, to be those immutable laws that used correctly, you are not, you, you know, you, you, you stand a chance. You're not going to be uh, failing like many organizations do. You know, many organizations that start, many of them don't get past five years. And if they get past five years or 10 years or 15 years, many of them stagnate. There's certain principles and things around renewing and, and, and re-challenging and, and, and obviously uh, doing a lot of things that, that, that follow the market needs. I mean, principles we'll be covering are things like, uh, why does an, ex an organization exist? And an organization exists, I think, and I think it's been proven as well, to acquire customers and to fulfill their needs. And that comes from Peter Drucker. I mean, that's a core principle. If you've had an organization that's been operating for 10, 15, 20, sometimes a hundred years, and the market and the, uh, has shifted so much, and you no longer have customers to acquire and to fulfill their needs, there's no use for that organization. Hence, we see organizations go up, level off, and die off, just like human beings. Those are things that, uh, that, that we, those are core principles. You know, organizations, just like human beings, are often biological. Uh, you know, they have a, a growth, they have a leveling off in terms of maturity, and they have a decline in death. Uh, if you don't arrest that uh, decline and, and, and re, uh, let's call it reestablish the market, the position, the, the proposition, you're going to go down. So the, uh, the role of a fractional CMO is one that can highlight those core principles that if you keep applying and applying in the correct way, you got the ability to, to overcome many of the, 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 the pitfalls and things that, that really, it's not, it's not rocket science. It's not, it's not something that, that is hidden from, uh, from people. In fact, these, these principles you probably know already, but what often happens is we get so busy in the day-to-day -day throes of running a business or trying to grow and develop. And when it comes to, to making sure that we, we can survive and thrive over a period of time, if you're not applying or even concentrating on these business principles, business growth principles, I believe one of the other core principles, if you're not growing, you're dying. And I think that applies to businesses. If you're not in a growth mode, there is no nirvana, there's no paradise, there's no point at which you've reached the pinnacle and therefore now everything is perfect. Businesses are like human beings. We have to be on the growth. You know, you can't have an exercise program, for instance, do that for a year, become super fit, and then say, look, for the next 30 years, I'm doing nothing. Um, I'm not fit. I don't need to do any more. Businesses are exactly the same. You've got to keep challenging yourself. You've got to keep challenging the model that you're in and so on. So this podcast is dedicated to what I believe are the 42 core business growth principles that if you are aware of them and that you are applying them correctly, these 42 core business principles will be the fundamental, or let's call it the foundation of your entire business and your entire organization. And that is really what I would like to achieve in this podcast. 42 business growth principles delivered over 42 weeks. And if we look at 42 weeks, go over uh, just about a year. There are 52 weeks in a year. If, you t if we miss out a few weeks because of a few uh, um, breaks in between and so on, if you apply each one of these business principles 
every week and you incrementally apply them and every week build and build and build around them, but also be reminded of the ones that we covered. I would like this podcast to be that special podcast where we really touch on the core stuff that matters, not hype, not fluff, not marketing noise, none of that stuff. It's really just getting down to the brass tacks of what really makes the world in business, what makes it successful versus unsuccessful. And make, make no mistake, you can get everything right, but luck often or circumstance or being at the right place at the right time often determines your success. So you could have people that have done absolutely everything right, but they just, just don't make it. You could have other people that don't apply any of these principles and just hit it lucky. But the difference, however, is if you are doing these business principles and you're doing them properly, you can create something that's sustainable, that's proper, that's serving the community, that's serving the stakeholders, serving your the people, your family that the, that, that, that you love and care for, uh, your uh, immediate community. You can serve the people that you are, 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 are meant to serve and do that properly over a sustainable long period of time. Always being aware of the changes and things that happen in the marketplace. So this today is an introduction to the 42 Business Growth Principles podcast. Uh, this is what we're going to be covering in the next 42 weeks. Please join me next week, Friday, for our first business growth principle. These episodes will last 15 to 20 minutes. Um, sometimes I might have to go a little longer, depending on how, how deep and broad and, and, and wide we need to go around the actual uh, business principle. But the idea is it's going to become a YouTube channel where you could go in and just like you would do with Netflix, or any one of those binge type channels where you could potentially go and watch two, three, four, five of these principles in a row and try and apply them and then go back and create, I'm going to create this library of these business principles for you to go back and refer to. And I, I really would like you to, to make maximum use of this. And if there's any questions in terms of how do you apply this in your world, because we do have unique situations. We also come from unique backgrounds, have unique experience, and also have unique geographic uh, challenges as well. We come from different countries. Uh, we also have uh, different industries and industries that are changing. Uh, and, and, and the way that, that the big corporates are, are, are working as opposed to smaller entities and startups, everybody is in a different phase. I would say. So a lot of these core business principles apply to everybody across the board. And as a fractional CMO, I focus on the growth principles. There are other business principles involved. I'm not touching those. I'm focusing entirely on, 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 on business growth. In other words, marketing and sales. And as a fractional CMO, I think it's, it's my duty and obviously my privilege to be able to share these business growth principles, principles with you in the next 42 weeks. I look forward to seeing you for principle number one next week, Friday at 10 a.m. British summertime. Uh, for those of you that are on live stream, for those of you that are on the podcast, uh, I, I certainly hope that you are watching this, or sorry, listening to this on a regular basis and that, that uh, that you do like I do with a lot of podcasts as well. If I find of good value, I listen to them again and again and then store them and come back to them again later. In YouTube, we will have a, a, a proper library, a, a category there that you could go in and watch as we build this library of 42 growth principles. I wish you the best of luck for this coming week. Have a good weekend and we'll see you next Friday.